All right, we got the uh, Zotac. This one's not as easy. GeForce GTX 560 Ti. This thing's pretty sweet, I have to say. I have never used this company before, but uh, I heard pretty good things about it. They got really good price points, and these things look really, really, really nice. So. Um, let's pop this thing open real quick and see how it looks. And again, I got a two camera setup here, so I'm trying to keep it in in my little range here. So got some uh, some connectors. Looks like a mini USB to uh, full US, um, USB, huh? Mini HDMI to full. I could use this actually for my DSLR camera to full uh, HDMI, which is nice to have. So, you got the usual VGA, DVI, converter, and some power cables, user manual. So, we got the user manual, it says it's time to play. Boot disk. Now, the thing is, with these. Uh, I don't know, I have to double check to see if this thing has an onboard, my gigabit uh, motherboard has an onboard video card. If that's the case, I have to assemble that first. Load up the BIOS, load everything in, and then load this in. I heard you try to hook up, and it just gets really confusing and the computer doesn't know what to do. So. There's a good tip for you if you are new to doing this. I am not, but I'm also can't say that I am a seasoned veteran either. All right, this part you kind of don't want to touch. So let's put this anti-static bag there because it's going to go right back in it. And this is it. This thing is pretty sweet. It's got the uh, kind of goldish orange look. It's got a sweet fan. Um, Spin it around so you can see the name. You know, typical two DVI uh, slots and the mini, the mini USB one right here. So you can see that. Uh, if not, you can, I'll come up here. You can see it there. So it's pretty cool stuff. I mean, this thing looks awesome. If it works half as good as it looks, this thing's going to be cooking. So, all right, let me keep unboxing. Oh, and by the way, by the way, it's going to be awesome for uh, CS 5.5, uh, especially in Premiere. I haven't tested anything like this in After Effects, but I'm sure it'll work really well there too. Uh, even though After Effects is more of a RAM preview, and Premiere has uses the uh, CUDA technology. I don't know exactly how much CUDA is in this, but I know it has plenty, so I think it'll work out pretty well.